Hello, let's solve this week's flashback history quiz. Uh, eight notable events in chronological order. So we're given the event. The World's Fair opens in New York City and the Unisphere and It's a Small World debut, 1964. That's, uh, that's, that's funny, 1964. So that moved to Disneyland after that. Okay, so Egyptian tomb builders walk off the job after not receiving their monthly grain in one of the world's first recorded strikes. That is an amazing fact. Well, I think we can very comfortably put that before 1964 by quite a margin, indeed, 1170 BCE. Here we have nine black students attend an all-white high school in Little Rock, Arkansas. The city's high school close uh, high schools close a year later to avoid integration. This would be the 1950s, so we can put that before the World's Fair there. Yes. Uh, next up, ordered by Indira Gandhi, the Indian army uses tanks and artillery to seize the Golden Temple from Sikh militants, killing at least hundreds. Right, okay. Um, I am not sure about this year, but I'm guessing with Indira Gandhi, it's going to be after 1964 at least. I, I can't be much more precise than that, somewhat embarrassingly, but okay, there we go, 1984. Okay. All in the Family debuts among the first U.S. TV sitcoms to tackle issues like bigotry, gay identity, and anti-war protests. I have never actually seen All in the Family, but I'm, I'm aware of its of its reputation. Um, and it, I always think of it as being a 1970s series, so I have to assume it would be sometime after 1964, and we'll just see if that bears out. It does, 1971. Okay. Next up, Raymond Moriyama, an architect who later designs the Canadian War Museum, Oh, it was brought to a Vancouver internment camp at age 12. Well, that would be the Second World War, I would I would imagine. So um, we can put that definitely before 1957. Yes, 1942. Oh, the world reaches 1 billion people with about 15 million living in North America. Wow, 15 million in North America. Okay, well, that's considerably... That's considerably fewer than today obviously. One billion people. What are we, we're, we're around, what, eight, eight billion now? Um, I mean, I have to imagine it was before 1942. I mean, by 1942, certainly the population of North America would be enormously higher than this. So, I don't know, sometime in the 19th century? 1804, right, okay, really, the very beginning of the 19th century. Visigoths enter Italy seeking land and recognition. After they are refused and ambushed, they sack Rome. <laughs> well, uh, I think we can very confidently put that sometime in between 1170 BCE and 1804. I think it'll be, uh, I don't know, maybe roughly in the middle of those? Yeah, it's, well, sort of, um, it, earlier than middle, of course. Um, but yes, there we go. Armenia is the first country to adopt Christianity as its state religion, in part to resist cultural pressure from Persia. That is incredibly interesting. I mean, I certainly don't have this in my head. My guess would be it would still be earlier than 410. If it was the first country to adopt Christianity, my guess would be probably not dramatically before that, but I would say within yeah, I'm just, I, I suspect that is the case. Let's find out. 301. Okay, so yeah, it, in there. And there we go. All right, I got them all, I got them all correct this week. And I think fewer, this is a, this is a smaller percentage of people who got them all correct this week than previously. There were certainly some where I, I could imagine um, guessing incorrectly. I, I wasn't certain about this Armenia thing. And if it had been slightly after 410, it wouldn't have shocked me. But um, but that was my suspicion. Let's see. Anything else I wasn't very confident about? I mean, I think for the most part, these aren't very surprising to me. What were the ones that were most frequently placed incorrectly? So the Indira Gandhi one, 79%, 73% on the Little Rock thing. I mean, certainly if you don't have a U.S. cultural context, it's in, there's no particular reason you would know that. Oh, right. The world reaching 1 billion people was the, the least, least correctly guessed. That's not surprising to me. That, that is, that is a tricky because it still sounds like a lot of people. Honestly, it was the 15 million living in North America. That was the thing that gave it to me, not the 1 billion total. Um, so focusing on that was incredibly helpful. 
Oh, right. And then Armenia as the first country to adopt Christianity, even fewer than that, only 31%. That doesn't surprise me. That I could have gone either way on that, to be honest. But uh, there we go. That, that was a tricky week. That was the flashback.